Okay, Graham. Yeah, thank you too for all your comments, tweets, texts, emails, all that sort of thing. Um, Do we'll, keep we'll, them coming. We will read them. Definitely, yeah. to each other normally. Uh, <laughs> some of them we can't talk about on the telly about what you do in the morning. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, uh, we'll do it same time, same place tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello there. After the exceptional heat of last week, some... The latest headlines up next with BBC News at 9, then at 10, it's breaking news, original stories and current affairs with Victoria Derbyshire. You're watching BBC News at nine with me, Rebecca Jones. The headlines. The Prime Minister heads to Scotland, vowing to promote and strengthen the union as the Cabinet ramps up preparations for a no-deal Brexit. Part of that will be to make sure we've got the committee structures of Cabinet in place so that we can respond as effectively as possible in real time to all the issues, uh, challenges that we will face. It comes as Britain's biggest business group warns that neither the UK nor the EU is ready for a no-deal Brexit at the end of October. A gunman opens fire on festival goers at an event in California, killing three people and wounding 15. It was like semi-automatic going off really close too. You know, people screaming and hiding and ducking. A man who became trapped in rocks for several hours after saving his toddler from the sea has been rescued on the Norfolk coast. And coming up in sport later in the hour, the world champion Lewis Hamilton struggles in an extraordinary rain-hit German Grand Prix. Hello, good morning and welcome to the BBC News at nine. Boris Johnson has called for a renewal of the ties that bind our United Kingdom.